Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. Started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the middle would be lost. The middle would be lost. The ships had ground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle with Gilligan, the skipper, too. The millionaire and his wife. <laughs>
That's a load off my mind. We'll put the food locker right on top. Exactly, Gilligan. Let's get going before the professor comes back. Yes, he'll never understand. <laughs>
It's useless. It's useless. The only one who can save me is what? Tubi. Only what? Tubi. What? Tubi? Who's he? The ancient witch doctor. He's the only one that can lift the curse of Kona off me. What to be? What Skipper, to be? What to be is just more native superstition. What to be doesn't exist. What to be? What to be? Is he all right? It's his mental attitude, Gilligan. He's giving up. He, he hasn't got the will to go on. Just because he's so superstitious? I'm afraid so. It's plain fear, Gilligan. Just plain fear. Why, if he doesn't snap out of it, he can talk himself into anything. <laughs> Oh, 
Gee, so did I. Do you remember what you were supposed to? I'm sorry. I only had an hour to learn my lines. Oh, Juby! What is it? What's the matter? We forgot our lines. Look at my son. Look out for that! Oh. 